Hello, welcome to day four of our Jesus Tree Lenten study. Today we start in John 2. We've finished John 1 and now we're in John 2 verses 1 through 12. And we're reading the story of the first of Jesus's signs at a wedding about to lapse into disaster. As we read, what stands out, what thoughts come to mind, put them in the con on the comments so that we can talk with you about it. So here is our reading. John 2, 1 through 12. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine! Woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied. My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you! Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you've saved the best until now. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After this, he went down to Capernaum, to Capernaum with his mother and brothers and his disciples. There they stayed for a few days. Here is God among us joining in the important celebrations of human life that means so much to us, even today. Jesus, albeit reluctantly, steps up to ensure that the celebration of this couple's new life together doesn't descend into shame and embarrassment due to a lack of hospitality through drink. The need, of which the bride and groom probably weren't really aware of, was met. And with abundance. So a little bit of math. They had six jars full of water, each holding about 20 to 30 gallons. Can you do that math? That's a minimum of 120 gallons of wine. Or if we look at the bottle terms, that's about 600 bottles of wine. God in Jesus doesn't do things by halves. He goes all out. Yet it is a sign that is done quietly, behind the scenes, only visible to the servants and the disciples. We were let in on a secret maybe to learn from it. There's more than just a dramatic miracle demonstrating Jesus's divinity. It's a sign of what Jesus has in store for all of us, the abundance of new life that he brings. It reminds us again that God is the source of all things, all things. So perhaps it also challenges us to use the resources we've received wisely, remembering God gifts them to us for everyone to share, as all shared in this bounty at the wedding. What might we do today to embrace God's generosity? 
our activity today is to look around for signs of new life. It could be a bird. It could be flowers. And I want you to make a note of it, whether that's through writing, through a picture, anything to remind you of Jesus' promises. If you're willing to share your pictures, I would love to see them. So comment them down below so that we can see where you have seen new life today. Our ornament for today is, of course, a wine glass for the wedding at Cana. Now we close with our prayer. Loving Lord, who rejoices in our celebrations and comforts us in our tragedies, we thank you for the gifts you bring us. We praise you for the beauties of this world, whose resources we often take for granted. Help us to treasure what we have from you and share with all in generosity. Amen. Have a good day.